ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Hello, Cancer. It's time for your beginning to mid-August reading of this current year. Mm. I actually did your reading earlier, but it confused the fuck out of me, because it was like... Yeah, it was kind of like that. It was like, um... Not giving your love out, but it was almost like you were doing... You were not starting something for a fucking reason. Hey, Fats. I don't understand what that reason is. And honestly, I wasn't even sure if I was reading it correctly. It was just kind of like... What is happening? Like, I don't know. Like, like the most confusing thing was this right here. Because that's still on top of when I did it earlier. The Ten of Swords... Um, this is sunny side, but it's still reversed, so it's kind of like, not entirely due to it yourself, but it's like still suffering. Or something. Like, I don't know. Like, very, very awkward, but I don't know, man. But let's see what's going on with you, Cancers. It's either going to be a continuation, or an explanation, or something completely different, but there was something there that, like, you guys were really invested in, like, because he was like, this is justice? And he was like, you guys wanted justice in order to be happy. But we're going to see what comes up this time. So. Remember, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Um, yeah. Jeez, okay. This is almost, yeah, this is almost like the exact same thing I read earlier. Only... Eh, not so much, but still. Yeah, he popped up earlier, too. And so did that. Everyone's eating the Six of Cups so far. I guess it's one of those things. Ew. Okay. So we got the Seven of Cups reversed, as if you can't fill a void somewhere. The situation is the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your wants and wishes, the Four of Swords... Or the four, geez, four swords, four of cups, reverse the obstacle and challenge coming against you, and those wants and wishes is the six of cups, reverse. Then we have the five of cups, reverse in the fears of rejections, the moon, reverse in the catalyst as well as the final result, which is like secrets and shit coming out. And then like the beginning theme is four of swords, reverse. You're not taking a break from something. Or you can't recover from something, or something is just mentally just being like shaking your brain, like like a jar of pickles, just awkward, crazy tastiness. Hmm. Cancer, cancer, cancer. I don't know that like the one I read for you guys was so fucking weird. It was almost like someone did not want to do something because they thought it was the right thing to do. But it was like, you guys were keeping your guard up. And it was more along the lines of, you know, you should have let your guard down because that would have given you clarity. Like, I guess when you guys go into your shell or whatever, but it's like, I don't know. It was like when you were in your shell, like, you didn't have an idea. And if you get out of your shell, you'll have an idea. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on. So, there's somebody coming for truth or looking for truth. In the situation with the King of Swords, it could be an air sign or it could be you, Cancer. But because of that, it's like someone's wanting an opportunity they threw away. Like they regret it now. Because like the illusion or the secrets or something, and this is yours and Pisces card, Cancer. It's like, um... It's like you want it after everything came out in the open. Mind you, you feel like there's a void missing and your obstacle and challenge is getting over some trauma or something bad happening to you. But you're really afraid, and this car and the Five of Cups came up earlier for you too. You're afraid someone's gonna be like an abusive mother to you. You know. Feeling like there's no love. Which that's terrible. I don't know if you wanting to nag somebody, or if that person's wanting to nag you, but that's a fear of yours, which is just like, you know. Like, honestly, Cancer, if someone were to just grab you roughly by the back of your neck, you'd probably start crying. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but it's like, I can see that happening. Because you guys are such, like, gentle fucking creatures. And then I, a Capricorn, are, are, are just like, I could just throw you down the stairs right now and wouldn't give a shit. Like, you know, not saying that I would. I'm just saying, complete opposites. <laughs> 
Or someone would throw me down the stairs and then I'd tell them they did a really bad job because they didn't break my neck. This is, but, you know, I live for spite. Anyway, let's see what's going on with yours, Cancer. That's a really terrible comparison between Capricorn and Cancers, actually. I mean, I would be sad if someone threw me down the stairs. I just would work to make someone sadder than what they make me. You guys, I don't know. Like, I would feel really bad, and I'd probably end up beating the shit out of somebody if they threw you down the stairs, honestly. Because it's like, you leave them alone. Like, stop making them cry. <laughs> Let's see. So you're trying to fill a void right here with the Seven of Cups, like you're emotionally empty. And it's like after you sat there and let like plants grow on your tree for so long that they started to rot. Kind of like an avian behaviors or just, I don't know. Like you were waiting for the tree to get more awesome, but like... You became so invest invested in, like, creating the tree that you didn't pay attention to the tree. It's like, I don't know, it's like you did everything but feed the tree. Like, you decorated the tree for Christmas and Easter. You put wreaths all over it, but you forgot to water it. And now it's, like, dying and you're kind of sad. King of Swords in the situation. Either you or, oh dear, everything fell. You or someone you're dealing with is um, looking for some truth. Or it could be someone just being a harsh person, right? Maybe somebody is saying or doing something or whatever. But it's like someone's left out in the cold and now they've gotten to the point where they're comfortable with it. Um, it could be Leo, Sag, or Aries right here, but someone's definitely feeling a little bit supreme in where they're seated at. Problem is, is once again, Ten of Swords. Someone feels really, really extra when it comes to the betray. Um, maybe even being so extra that it's becoming very dramatic, right? Could be a Capricorn involved here, but it's like, even with the light here, like there's no real coming together with the other person. It's like you guys see the light and you guys want to get together, but unfortunately you're not very good for each other. It's more like a pipe dream than anything, and that's become a burden that you've had to carry because, like, this shit's over with, right? It's been gone for a while, I think. So you might be looking for some truth in this whole situation. You know, you want to know what the fuck's going on, I think. Yeah, you want some truth because you're extra sad. <laughs> like, someone is, like, mourning not having you, or you're mourning having them cancer. See, like this, okay. So this is what's going on inside your shell. Because before, I was seeing the outside of your shell. So that's what's going on here. On the outside, it's like you're not going to start anything with somebody because, like, you know, you think it's the right thing to do. But on the inside, it's like you guys know what's happening, but you're not letting anybody in to see that. Which is like, that's not healthy, man. Like, just because you're pretending to be okay does not mean that you're okay. And that's not a good thing to not let anybody know. You know, like, I, like, you know, I'm just going to say, Cancer, nobody is a mind reader. Like, nobody knows what's going on inside of you until you tell them. And if that's the situation where you're just, like, pretending, like, that's not going to be good for you. That might just bite you in the ass a little bit. Kitten. He's not over there, kitten. <laughs> Dude, like, kitten is like creeping over to where Buddy was. Yeah, she's looking for him. <laughs> she's literally not convinced he's out of the house yet. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, my kitten was, like, totally entertaining me for a second. She's just slowly crawling because our neighbor's dog was in. And, like, they, they're they used to him, but they still don't like him, so. Let's see. Your wants and wishes. There's an opportunity you purposely missed, and now you wish you hadn't done it, right? Yeah, you felt like, you know... I feel like you felt abandoned like a child. 
Or maybe you felt like really childish after you left this? Maybe you feel like you left this thinking that you didn't care about it as much as you did, but it was more like, you know, you were acting out like a little kid. So now we have the Six of Cups reverse down here. That's the obstacle and challenge, right? You uh, have a lot of traumas. Just putting that out there. Something that bothered you traumatically. Judgment. Ooh. So there's only in the past that you are possibly looking at mm, I won't say harshly I think you're seeing it how it is because these people are naked right here and it's like you know it's like God's coming down to let you know like hey this is what happened it's like you gotta get past the trauma to actually get the right judgment. You can't let your emotions, like, get in the way. Right? Like, I don't know. Like, don't let your emotions, like, hinder you from what you need or want to do. So then there's the fears and rejections, right? Like, someone nagging you like an abusive mother. Like, going too far with lecturing and disciplining and all that shit, right? You're afraid that it's fair? What? You... A cancer. <laughs> Are you... Okay, let me look at this right. Do you think it's fair that someone's supposed to go off on somebody like they're, like, really abusively? Because this is like, you know, gaslighting, literally making somebody feel like, you know... They're getting what they deserve, but really fucked up, you know, like, it's one thing to yell at somebody for messing things up, it's whatever, but you, you're supposed to let it go after you let that shit out, right? And then you guys communicate and be like, well, it was fucked up, you yelled at me, well, it was fucked up that you got me to yell in the first place. Back and forth so you guys figure it out, but this is like... Going after someone and not letting it go, and it's like, somewhere in the thoughts... The rejections and these fears, it's like, you're afraid that that's the right thing that should come about, that it's fair. But I can't tell if you think it's fair to do that to somebody else, or if it's fair for somebody to do that to you. Um, and it might be the past trauma thing, like, maybe there's something up with your mom, or like... Someone you looked at as a mother figure went off on you, and I think they, like... It caused you to feel really, really upset, but now you're looking at it as if it's the right, if it, if it was fair, which, you know, fairness and the right thing to do are completely two different things, you know, like, I could stab somebody in the eye for stabbing me in the eye. That would be fair, but that does not make it the right thing to do. And if someone's yelling at you, Cancer, like, yell it back at them. Just pretend that there's somebody you, you, you have a grudge against and, like, just go off. To start saying shit that, like, you would say to that person. Or, I don't know. But then we got the moon reverse right here. Secret. Someone may feel like they were being played emotionally and you're, they're just now figuring it out. This is what started this shit and this is how it'll come full circle. Ooh, bad investment. Bad investment. Business, work, some shit, like... Like someone was getting played when it came to giving money out for business ventures or something. Or someone's emotions were tied to something financial. One of the two. Sorry, I had to move my coffee away because my fan's making it cold. Like a bastard. You know what? I'm pulling another, another car. I'm pulling the car. I'm pulling... It's like, the past trauma was that you had judgment cast on you, and now you think it's the right thing to do? Like, I want to know about the Six of Pentacles. Let me get one for that one real quick, because I'm very curious. Maybe I, I shouldn't have bothered, because now I'm just even more confused. Okay. Were you blinded before, and you couldn't... Could you not tell who was and was not on your side? Is that what this is? Where someone playing with your gullibility, make it playing you for a fool in order to swindle you out of some of your funds? 
Because, you know, there's nothing wrong with breaking people's kneecaps. You don't have to feel bad. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with that, but jeez, like... What about this investment? Because I'm curious about that, too. Like, I, I'm being unfair, but... Okay. Hmm. Could I be dealing with a Capricorn? Well, I mean, well, duh. Here I am. Hello. But, uh... <laughs> but it's like, two people who were really bad for each other. To the point where the devil's just sitting there like, you know what, I'm just gonna let y'all go. I don't even need to be here. I'm actually kind of stuck here because you guys won't fix your own shit. It's not even fun anymore. This has been a while coming. Almost. Like, the devil's bored listening to you and your other person squabble and shit. And that might have been the problem. You might be been dealing with somebody who you really didn't have a clue about until it was too late. Like they always cast judgment on you and shit. Something didn't work out between two people. That's the ending theme. Three of Pentacles, right? Something didn't work out between two people, and you're not getting a break from that. So let's see. Yeah, there might. Yeah, there was definitely a separation here between two people. And. Yeah, you know, you're trying to get away, but I don't know if you're... Because that's your card, Cancer. I don't know if you're making it or not. I don't know if you are capable of getting out of this scenario. Like, you want to run to um, this judgment and the trauma? But it's like you can't get out of there in time. Like, you're trying to be logical and emotional, and I'm not sure how that works. What the fuck? Man, people put anything in music, I swear. Yeah, early to mid-2000s was that time of year where, like, cop sirens and shit were in music, and I don't know why. Now people are putting screaming babies and shit in songs. Let's see. Last card. And this shit's still separated. <laughs> this shit still is not working. Okay. Like, this is like two cups, but this is like four of one. This is like more of a connection, and this is just a partnership. It's like you lost someone you really gave a fuck about, and now you're getting ready to lose this dude. Like, you're at the beginning of this bullshit right here, where you figure some stuff out. You're just torturing the cats now. <laughs> but yeah, that's what, um... Sorry about that, the husband and the kitties. But that's what it looks like to me, Cancer. Like, you're trying to get away from this disaster, but it's like... You're really scared of being judged. Which, let me tell you, you shouldn't worry about being judged, right? People who judge you are just people who have nothing better to do for themselves. Or do with themselves. Like, it's one thing to just make fun and poke fun at people, but if you're actually serious about what you say about people... Like, you know, then that person's probably just talking about themselves. But if you feel like someone judged you harshly to the point where it traumatized you, you either need to stand up for yourself or just get away from the person. Like, it's not good to be around somebody who makes you feel like you're constantly judged and treated unfairly. It's not healthy for you at all. But anyway, that's your reading, Cancer. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you want a personal reading, the, all the info is down in the description box below, as well as like my playlist for the music I use. If you want, you can like, share, and subscribe to the channel. No pressure, of course. It's all up to you, really. I'll see you guys later, and you try to take it easier, okay? And be safe. Bye bye Oh, and stay away from the fucking magician. I don't know how many times I have to tell y'all that. Love you, bye.